Meowth, I choose you. Cthulhu, I choose you. Brah, really? It's Chuck, the, stu the Stuttering Gamer, back with another video like I said I would be. Um, last video was all my Christmas gifts and non-video game items that I picked up, um, including anime and horror movies and all that. So if you guys like that type of stuff, hopefully you guys watched that video too. But as promised, I've got all my video games now, and I got a lot of them, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get right to it. So... Anyways, uh, first, let's start off with uh, some controller action. Um, at Target, I found for half off, but I picked up the Mario Target exclusive wireless switch controller. Um, I actually bought two of these, but, but I have one in the front 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 room. Liz uses it uh, with the secondary switch that I have, um, but I wanted one for my game room too, so I bought the two, you know? Um, with the classic Mario. Um, only problem is, um, I noticed, uh, and I did not know this actually when I when I bought it, but it, it uses batteries. So I was kind of bummed about that, but it's still better than uh, spending another 70 bucks on like another pro controller, you know. But I actually collect these things, so it's pretty cool, you know. Um, and I'll just buy rechargeable batteries for the front room uh, controller, you know. Next, Black Friday, I picked this up for 20 bucks. It's a Pokeball uh, Plus, though. Um, it's, a po it's a Pokeball Plus. Um, I've been playing the crap out of Pokemon Sword, and the only way to get Mew is through this thing here. Um, and it's funny, because I actually have have one that, I, that it came with, with a Maya Hey You Pikachu uh, collector set. But that entire thing sealed still, so I was like, you know what? 20 bucks, I'll spend it, whatever. So, and I got it sitting over there by my Switch. I need I need to get a, a, a charging stand for it. And there's a really cool Hori one, but I don't want to spend 20 bucks on that right now, you know? So, right. next. I said before in multiple videos, and I'll keep on saying it, I'm a huge Castlevania fan. Um, and the DS games are amazing. But uh, one of them, uh, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, if you pre-ordered it, you got a, a little cool, like, anniversary gift box thing uh, that looks like a, a Victorian-era, like, I guess, document, letter, whatever. And it's this thing here. Um, it comes with a soundtrack, I believe. A, a soundtrack. It comes with a stylus, and it comes with a uh, an art book. It's a really cool little promo item with the, with a fake wax seal, um, and honestly, I've wanted it for a long time. But every one that I that, that that I found in the wild is creased and crunched up, and I'm not having that, man. I'm a I'm a I'm a collector, and, a, and I'm pretty picky. I got this thing brand new. Um, probably gonna keep it sealed too. So, it's a really cool little collector's item for the Castlevania fan. Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's start with. Oh, actually, here's another thing. Um, I picked the, this up with the last video, but I forgot it because it was actually in my 64 still. Uh, but uh, that's Mario Kart 64. Um, it's the player's choice one. I I got it for like 20 bucks though, which is still great. It's in beautiful condition, and the 64 player's choice games they're not as um. Uh, uh, I'm not just looking at some of the other consoles, you know? Like, PlayStation's great, 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 greatest hits with a green line. I fucking hate those things. 
But uh, the uh, 64 games only had that had a, that a little stamp, so that's not too bad. I'll probably hunt down a, a non-player pool player's choice one, but for 20 bucks and it's a game game that I did not have. Fuck yeah, man! Why not? All right. Uh, also, actually, let's do some PSP games. I picked up two PSP games from Disc Trade tra tra Traders. One being Dissidia Final Fantasy uh, for five bucks, and honestly, feeling it, it feels brand new. I don't think that this was like opened too long ago. I think that if they did, this was pretty much brand new. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, four ninety nine and for fourteen ninety nine, I picked up another um, an actual RPG, Valkyrie Profile Leneth. Um, this is a remake of the PS One game. Now, I'd love to have the PS1 game, but I've seen them go for as high as like 200 bucks. I'm not paying 200 bucks for for Val, 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 Valkyrie Profile. So, having a PSP remake that I can rip using my uh, modified PSP and then play it on my Vita TV that's also modified or play it on my laptop, you know what? I'm willing to do that, you know? So, this is actually pretty fucking cool. Um, plus, I mean, it, it, it has updated visuals and shit too. So really, I don't, I, I don't mind not having the, or, or r original version of it. Um, at least for the time being, if I, if I found it for like 10 bucks, you bet your ass, I, I, I would be like, oh, you know, um, alrighty, let's move to the. Mm, let's move to some PS3 games. I picked up Dante's Inferno for the PS3. Did I say PS3 earlier? Yeah, PS3. Um, I picked up Dante's Inferno for the PS3, uh, and it comes with the slipcover. And I actually own this game, but I wanted the actual slipcover. The slipcovers are notorious for being destroyed because they use this weird foil flock to it. But they had a seal here and a seal there. And most people tear the actual seals. So the actual red wood would, would come like rip, rip, ripping up with it, which would always piss me off. And now I pre ordered this a long time ago, but had to sell it. And my copy was mint. This one is not too bad, though. Um, especially paying only, I think, 10, 10, 10, 10 bucks for it. Uh, and it's pretty much a God of God of War clone. I would say like a God of War clone, but with some elements of, of Devil May Cry, you know. Um, also, when you pre-ordered it uh, at, at a GameStop, you got a free net neck of figure of the main character, which I still have that. So it's pretty awesome. Very ha very happy to have that again in my collection, you know, for aesthetic reasons. Um, and then, another game that I bought solely for the slipcover, um, although technically I didn't have it, but I've, I've got all the DLC and the original version of the game anyways, and that is Resident Evil Gold. I literally bought this for the slipcover, and honestly, just for my Resident Evil collection on the shelf. That's it. Um, I've got this game for the PS4, I got it for the Switch, I got it for the PS3 originally, I think I also have it for the Xbox 360, maybe. Um, I didn't really need it, but you know, you know what? I wanted it for strictly for the shelf. So, um, let's move on to the one game to the one GameCube game that I bought, and I bought it specifically so that I could have a complete set, even though I'm missing one more game, and that is. Resident Evil 3 for the GameCube. I got it. I've got Resident Evil 2 for every console out there. Now I have Resident Evil 3 for the GameCube. Um, and actually, that leads me into another game that I picked up, which I might as well just show now, and that is Resident Evil 3 for the Dreamcast. So I now have every version of Resident Evil 3, including PC and PS1. So pretty fucking awesome, man. Um,. Like I said before in the last video with that Nemesis plushie, um, I want that collector's edition of the remake, but because of them selling out and GameStop's horrible 
handling of the situation. I'm gonna boycott the game until I get my fucking collector's edition. Yes, I'm that anal. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's do PS2. Alright. These two I got off of Amazon. Um, brand new. I can't believe that they have them. I mean, check Amazon. You'd be surprised what, the, what they have. But it is... Persona 4, brand new sealed, and Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, brand new, for the PS2. And they come with the soundtracks and shit, so very fucking cool. I've got this game open. Don't have this one open, but I'm not opening it. Um, I like having these two sealed copies, especially because I'm a collector and I love these games. So it's like, you know what, Like for the Vita, this is the game to have. So, but, um, got these sealed for, like, under 20 bucks each. Definitely worth it. Um, the, although, the first copy that they sent of this one, the, uh, wrapping was ripped on the side completely. So I was like, no, 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 no. I bought it specifically because I wanted it sealed. I've already got one open, you know? So, got those. These I found all at Disc Traders, and not bad, bad, bad at prices, but for the PS2, Guilt, Guilt, Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear Isaka, is, 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 Isuka, there we go. Um, awesome fighting game series um, from the makers of Blaze Blue. This actually came out before, well, the actual Guilty Gear series came out before Blaze, Blaze, Blaze Blue. But awesome anime graphics, very fluid and and and, and animations and heavy metal soundtracks. You cannot go wrong. Also picked up King of the Fighters. What one is this? I suck when it comes to uh, Roman numerals. I think it's 11. XI, yeah. 11, I believe. But King of the Fighters 11, complete. All of these games are complete, too. So, King of the Fighters 2006. The Suffering, which actually I've got the sequel to this. I did not have the first one. I thought I did, though. I didn't even realize that they were two different games. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, no, shit. Gotta get that. Also, Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Um, I'm a big Marvel guy, specifically X-Men. And if you look, Wolverine's right there. So... Um, I remember when that game came out, um, I, I missed out on it, you know, and never played it. So I'm pretty happy to have it. In this game here, I had played it a little bit, but never beat it. And I'm planning on beating it now. And that is Jet Li's Rise to Honor. So I remember the actual controls being interesting because you use the analog sticks to actually fight, which I thought was pretty cool, you know? Uh, it's different. So... And I love Jet Li, so why not, you know? Uh, next, let's move on to the Dreamcast and PS1 games. I picked up, for, this one was really cheap. It was like 4 bucks or 5 bucks. Picked up Mega Man X6 for the PS1. Um, case is fucked up, but I can always switch out the actual case. But the manual's fine, and the, and the art works fine, and the disc is fine, so... Yeah, Mega Man X6. For the Dreamcast, I finally have Jack Rain Radio again. Um, I was actually talking about this in my last vi 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 uh, my last gaming pickup video about Jet Set Radio Future, but now I have Jack Rain Radio, so I'm very happy about that. I'm happy about everything. Next is Carrier, a survival horror game for the Dreamcast that was exclusive to the Dreamcast. And it really feels like old school Resident Evil. Um, never ended up beating it though. When this game, game uh, came out, I was busy playing Code of Ver 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 Veronica. And I don't know. I like it. But at the same time, like, I was younger. And, and if it wasn't Resident Evil, I was like, whatever, you know? Resident Evil or Silent Hill. So, but yeah. Have it now. Very excited about trying to uh, play that, you know. Especially because, I mean, 
I don't play my Dreamcast as much as I'd like to, but a Re but a Resident Evil styled survival horror game that I that I haven't really played much of, it's always nice, you know. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm waiting for Daymare, uh, 1998. Uh, it's coming out on consoles finally, so I'm pretty excited about uh, about playing some some more old school Resident Evil style games. Uh, and for the console, they're actually adding a fixed camera angle, so that's exciting too. Alright, all these games are PS1 games now, I believe, yeah. So, Alone in the Dark, uh, One-Eyed Jack's Revenge. This is the lesser known of the two Alone in, in the in the Dark games for the PS1. Ever, everybody's heard of uh, A New Night, 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 Nightmare, which is awesome. This one here, though, is a little more old school, so pretty excited about having this one. I used to have it, had to sell it, regretted it ever since. Found it for a pretty good fucking price. I did not pay 25 bucks for that. Try like 15. So, yeah. And it is complete, as all my disc-based games are. Found the black label version of Casper. It may not seem like much, but every time that I see this, it's always greatest hits. Finally have a black label version. So, as a matter of fact, I think I have the greatest hits version up there. I'll probably trade that off or something. Next... Shooter Space Shot, very underappreciated side-scrolling shoot 'em up game. That's very similar to um, what's that other game called from uh, SquareSoft? I can't think of the actual name, but um, yeah, pretty awesome, man. Um, got it really cheap, and I've actually seen it cheaper, but it I never picked it up. Uh, but when I saw it for five nine for five ninety nine, had to have it. Um. This one here, awesome. Kagero, Deception 2. Once again, another game that I used to have that I got rid of, regretted it, got it back. I'm very happy. Also, my favorite air my favorite aerial combat game of all time. I found part three in my last video. I believe it was my last video. Um, but I went and I found part two, and that's Ace Combat. Uh, this one and Part 4 are, are my two favorite favorite ones, but Ace Combat 2, once again, nostalgia and sentimental feeling, man. Love this game. Then I bought these as a set from the same guy. The fourth one I used to own, got rid of it, wanted it back, and I never had Part 3. That is Breath of Fire. 3 and 4. So, pretty excited, obviously. I keep saying that about all my games, but... I finally have these to add to add to my PS1 collection. My PS the PS1 is still my my favorite console of all time. So getting all of these classic games that I love, you know, it's always awesome, man. I love my my PS P, PS1. Uh, oh, also for the Dreamcast, got a sealed copy of an indie game that that started out on the Genesis, which was really cool. I never got a copy of it for the Genesis. But they put it out on the Dreamcast, and I think they put it out digitally for the actual like PS4 and stuff. Um, but that is Pierre Solar, and it's still, still, still sealed. Um, this is the Japanese version, but it's all in English. It's just that the actual packaging is made to look like a Japanese game. Uh, they have three di di different versions of it. They have this, they have the... Uh, U.S. version and the U.K. version, and they're all uh, in English. They all play on U.S. consoles. Uh, it's just the actual packaging for like nostalgia collectability. But I got this for dirt cheap. I'm talking like I think I it, after shipping it, it was like 13 bucks, and it's still sealed. So just out of the the sheer collectability of it, fucking a man, cannot beat that. Um, ooh, for the 64, picked up Complete in Box. My, I would say, second favorite wrestling game of all time. WCW NWO Revenge. My favorite one being WrestleMania 2000, which was the game from the same guy as that it came out the year later, or or two years later. Uh, same engine, same everything. So, fucking, this is when wrestling games were fucking awesome. I played hours for hours with with all my bros man 
Uh, we got into fights over it. We drank to it. I mean, this was a hell of a fun time, man. This one in WrestleMania 2000. Noah Mercy's good a good one too, but I didn't put as many hours in with my buddies with that one as I did uh, this one in WrestleMania 2000. So, which, that's the next on my list. Like, all my box games, I'm, I usually, when it comes to hunting down specific games boxed, um, it's usually games that are very sentimental to me. That one is. Um, also, uh, boxed cartridge games, sorry. Uh, but anyways, back to what I picked up. For the PS1, I picked up two long box games, too. Um, this one here, I found at Goodwill, really cheap. Had to sell it, got it back, but got it really cheap again. And I'm happy about it because it's usually expensive. And that is XCOM for the PS1. Fucking awesome RTS style, like uh, Halo War styled game. Um, this is where XCOM started, guys. So if you like XCOM, check out this for the PS1. And then, finally got this game. I usually only see it as a greatest hits in a regular jewel case. Wanted the actual long box because it's the black label version. I think there may be a, a, a regular jewel case black black label, but I I don't think I've I've, I've ever seen it personally. Um, but Alien Trilogy, fucking awesome game, awesome Alien game, first person shooter. The fucking smart gun is where it's at. Um, now this copy that I got. The guy, um, he's new to video game stuff, so uh, when he went to ship it, he was worried about the actual disc falling out. That's really cool that he was worried about it. But the guy used packing tape on the disc, and when I went to remove it, I knew that it was going to happen, but I was being super careful. It ripped the actual label up off of the disc, which also underneath the labels where all the data is stored and, the, and on a foil. And the foil came up with the label, ruining the entire disc. So the guy said, just keep it, and I'll refund you. Well, I found just the disc for like five bucks. So this here cost me five bucks. That's a deal. So, and the guy was really cool. I mean, I was ex 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 expecting him to have me send it back, which I would have, you know. Um, but... That was pretty silly of him, you know? Um, just taping it down with, with a packing tape. Painter's tape, even masking tape, but paint, but like packing tape? Like, that's like some of, some of the most hardcore tape out there, man. Um, let's keep with the retro, though. Picked up some Sega Genesis games and one NES game. And I'll start with the NES game first, because the Genesis games I'm really psyched about, a little more so. The NES game is a box copy of Super Mario 3 Complete. Um, got it really cheap. Um, oh, I, I'm not trying to find all my NES games in, in, in a box, but like I said, sentimental ones. I put a lot of time into this, this one game. However, I've never beaten it. Um, so I wanted it a complete. I mean, I don't have many complete NES games. This is my sixth one, if you, if you don't count my Famicom game. So, but it's a gem. As a matter of fact, I'll put that right up there with those. <laughs> now on to the Genesis. All right, let me start. I'm going to leave that one there because I've wanted that one forever. This one here I used to have, picked it up again, complete. Um, and that is Batman Returns. It's nothing like the SNES game. But it's still pretty fucking cool. And I saw it complete with the little uh, Batman sticker thing. Um, for like, I think it was like 10 bucks. I was like, you know what? Why not? You know? It even has the actual poster. So, fucking awesome having. Next is a game that I wanted for years. And I finally fucking got complete. Um, and that is X-Men 2. A lot, of, a lot of people don't even know that it came out that there was an X-Men 2 for the Sega Genesis. So, um, and unfortunately, the only time way that it was ever released was in one of the cardboard boxes, similar to Batman and Robin for the Sega, or Sonic and Knuckles. Um, so I got it in this plastic box just to make sure that, that it stays nice, but it is complete. 
Um, and it's also one of the few games that came with a black and white manual only, um, which is really weird because a lot of like other like Majestical reissues have black and white manuals, but that's not a, not a reissue. So next, I've wanted this game since I worked at the Music Recycler years ago. It's a fun fucking game, but it was always super pricey. Um, and the prices dropped some, but I picked it up uh, on on the cheap, complete, and that is. James Bond. Once again, a lot of people don't even realize that this was a thing. But yeah, fucking awesome. Pretty game, too. I mean, look at those colors if you can, can't see them. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a, a side-scrolling shooter. Uh, not like shoot 'em up but um, or sh shooter in that sense, but kind of like a GoGo -Go 13 for the NES. It's actually pretty fucking cool, man. And it's actually Timothy Dalton Bond. Nobody ever talks about Tim Timothy Dalton as James Bond. He wasn't bad, man. This one was not expecting to get. Almost had it a few years ago, and some asshole that worked at Goodwill with my roommate pulled rank and bought it out from underneath her. She actually had it, and he said, nope, this is mine. What a fucking cock. But that is Double Dragon for the Sega Genesis. And this is when they had the actual cardboard, like, slip box things, you know? Um, and what's really cool is, not only is it complete, but I mean, it is fucking complete. It actually comes with the cards, the actual collector card things that it came with, showing off other games. So, yeah, that's fucking cool, man. Um, the, you never see it with that 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 is stuff and most of these slipcover box things that you see because it's not like the other like x-men 2 those were standard like slide covers this is like yeah finding it in this condition dude yeah i lucked out so that one i paid a little more for but this shirt has had it for 50 and I had a 20% off thing, so I got it for like 40 bucks. Which, you know what? I'm cool with 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 it paying that. Um, even if it is a little more expensive. Alright. I think we're at modern now. Modern games. And I'm going to go with the PS4. I kind of went crazy on Black Friday because Amazon had so many awesome deals. But um, I picked up, finally, Yakuza Kiwami 2 with a steelbook and... Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, uh, that comes with an art book. So, these were dirt cheap on fucking Amazon, like under 20, 20 bucks. Um, I finally am caught up with my Yakuza games. Um, although there's a new one coming out that has, for the first time ever, a physical copy of one of the games. So, that's pretty fucking cool, though. Um, next, I've, this is this game I, I've, I've actually recently been playing... And that is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, awesome game if you like Uncharted. And I would say, honestly, Mass Effect. Um, the reason why is you have all the like grappling and uh, climbing like Uncharted. But the game's overall feel with the ship and like customization of like your uh, gear and, and what you actually wear. And some of the like dialogue. Really reminds me of Mass Effect. Uh, honestly, I, I I wouldn't be surprised if some of the actual people who worked on Mass Effect worked on this. And it is EA, so who knows. And it's a cool, different look at Star Wars. So, next game that I passed on when it came out just, just because of financial reasons. And it's fucking Devil May Cry, man. One of the g games that, once again, redefined action games for me, personally. Um, I mean, I got Code uh, Ver Ver Veronica X for the PS2, and it came with the, that, that, with the demo. I played that demo more than I played the actual Code Ver Veronica X game. So, we had Devil May Cry 5 for the PS4. Also picked up this. Um, I know for a while it went out of print, and I guess they put it back in in print but it's everything except for part three and that is kingdom hearts it's the collection uh the story so far so i love kingdom hearts i remember the first time that i put it uh kingdom hearts one into my ps2 
and the actual theme song happened and everything. I was like, well, this is amazing. And you got to actually pick, you know, shield or sword and like just choices. And then when you first see Donald and he starts freaking out over, over Mickey being a missing fucking awesome, man. Also, uh, I picked up a horror game for my horror collection and I cannot wait to play it. I loved until dawn. And so I picked up Man and Madan, which is from the same makers. So, I um, mean, it plays the same way from what I understand. So I'm pretty stoked about trying this. And a game that I picked up that I picked up for like 10 bucks uh, through Amazon. And I really wanted it when it first came out, but I never finished the first one. Um, it's from the maker of Resident Evil, so I might as well. And that is Evil Within 2. So basically... With the first one, when I first started playing it, it seemed like a hide and seek game, and I'm not I'm not a big fan of those. Then I got past that that part, and I'm like, alright, this is pretty cool. But I just gotten my fucking PS4, um, or it was around that time frame, like a few months afterwards, I think. And I I was like picking up all these other games, so it's like you know what I'm gonna play. I think I picked up the order when I picked up Evil Within Two. And I really like the order as much as most people diss on it. But, yeah. So, anyways, pretty uh, happy about trying out that one eventually. Probably should have uh, beat the first one, though. Now, on to the Switch. Alright. Let me get all these regular games down, because I got a couple collector's editions. But, first on the list, I picked up the Resident Evil Origins Collection. This has part zero on the cartridge and a download code for, for the remake. I wish it was the other way around. but um, And I really don't like the fact that Capcom has been doing that. And, and it's not just Capcom, it's other companies too. But I think that they could have fit both games on there. Um, I mean, The Witcher 3, with all of its DLC, is on one cartridge. I don't see why this isn't. So, but yeah, awesome games. I can't really talk about it too much. I mean, it's fucking Resident Evil. Back, you know during its prime also picked up right in five i've actually got it for the um uh P uh ps4 but i wanted a portable to do and it also comes with the soundtrack too which is pretty cool awesome shoot em up this one here is a puzzle game and haven't really heard of it but it was dirt cheap and i'm like you know what i'll fucking try it and that's soldam or soldam so why not picked up Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap. Um, I've been wanting this for a while. I finally went on sale. I don't think it comes with all the like goodies that some that they also that the first runs had. Uh, I haven't opened it, so it it might. Um, but yeah, I don't care. I just really wanted the actual game. Um, I love the actual Wonder Boy series. I love Monster Boy for the uh, Switch, so I wanted this one too. And this is, I believe, a remake of the original or one of the originals at least. So, and it includes retro mode with original graphics and sounds. So, pretty awesome. Picked up the Resident Evil Triple Pack. This one came with 4, 5, and 6. And 4 is actually on the cartridge. 5 and 6 are download codes. Um, which I'm cool with because I would rather have 4 on the actual cartridge. So, just nerd-wise. But, once again, I think that they could have fed them all onto one cartridge. And if not... I think they probably, they probably could have put 4 and 5 on the cartridge and then did 6 in, like, Code Veronica. Or or actually Code of Veronica and 4 on one cartridge and then 5 and 6 on another. Because uh, Code Veronica has not been re-released for the Switch yet. So, possibilities, you know. Then I picked up also, because it was dirt cheap, Killer Queen Black. I think it was 17 bucks brand new. And then it does come with the extras. I haven't played it yet though, so I kind of want to. But I'm like, it's a Switch game that's that that it looks badass and it was dirt cheap. So yeah, this one I wanted, I pre-ordered, I had to cancel due to money reasons, but uh, fi finally picked it up. And that's Collection of Mana. Um, I actually like uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, which is actually. A mana game, not a Final Fantasy game, but they called it Final Fantasy here because it would sell better. So I'm actually pretty happy about actually playing it on the Switch again. You know, I got it physically for the SNES. So, um, and I also loved uh, The Secret of Mana and uh, 
Lucian Amana? Is that the other one? I know that there's one coming out. But, yeah. Anyways, pretty excited about having that. And now for the collector's editions. Picked up this one. And that is another puzzle game. It's Crystal Crisis. And when they sent it, it was crushed. I was pissed. And they sent me another one. So, but yeah. This here, pretty awesome puzzle, puzzle game. I've, I played it a little bit, but I haven't opened this set yet. So, yeah. Pretty cool, though. And I think that the cave, yeah. A cave story is guys in there. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of these are, well, these are just characters from the actual uh, company, I, I believe. And I think that, yeah, is that, yeah. That's Astro Boy also, so that's pretty cool. So, that's pretty awesome having, and it was pretty cheap. Also, I picked up a survival horror game um, called Deadly Premonition. I got it for the PS3. Um, I think it came out for the original Xbox originally. Maybe the PS2, but I got it for the PS3. I liked it. It's a little weird, but pretty much if you like Twin Peaks and Silent Hill... You're going to be in heaven. So, but this was a collector's edition for the Switch. Um, if you're a collector, collector's editions for the Switch, there's quite a few, but they're usually pretty fucking awesome. Um, and I'm a survival horror fan, so I had to pick this up. Um, and I like the actual game. You know, some people pick up games because it's rare. Some people pick them up just to say that they have them. I pick up games that I can pick up because I want to play them. You know, like you should. Um, the final game that I picked up, though, is a big boy. It's a big collector's edition. It's a Japanese exclusive. It's the only way to get the game physically. Actually, importing it is the only way to get the game physically. But, I wanted the actual collector's edition because I love the game. Um, it came out on the PS2 originally. And I'm, a, I'm a big survival horror fan, like I've said. And I love Onimusha. Onimusha is pretty much Resident Evil with Samurai. And Japan had a collector's edition for the Switch version, um, which came in the form of this. And this actually is a collector's edition that comes with a physical copy of the game, which is in English. Um, it uh, switches like other uh, Japanese Capcom games to the region that you are, are, are in. Similar to F uh, Phoenix Wright. Well, this here comes with a physical copy of the game for the for the for the Switch. It comes with a soundtrack. And it comes with a wall scroll with this beautiful art. I mean, this is fucking awesome of Ogre fucking uh, Sam Nusuke. So, yeah, definitely fucking badass. Very happy to have this. Um, I wanted this when I first saw it. I kept putting it off, putting it off. Um, I took a gamble with Amazon. Because they had it for like 70 bucks, and it goes for about 80 bucks, 90 bucks, but it had free shipping. Came in undamaged, usually, and they sent it in a fucking bubble mailer, because usually they send everything in bubble, in bubble mailers now, which is stupid. But it came in a bubble mailer, undamaged. I was so fucking surprised. It was destiny. But, um, yeah, fucking, I love this game, um, I was playing it for a, a, a couple hours, uh, because I, I bought it digitally, but I really wanted a physical copy of it, so, um, still just as fucking good, graphics are dated, yeah, especially because the first game was actually originally meant for the PS1, and they decided to, uh, push it off to the PS2, and they changed a few things, but you can tell, with certain graphics, well, gr parts of the of the game where they use the actual PS PS One Rudd Rudner still, so but it's fucking awesome, man. I love it. It's I would say the in between of Resident Evil and Devil May Cry. It's the game that sits in between them in terms of gameplay style, you know. So, but yeah, it's fucking awesome. Very happy to have that in my collection. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. But I'll find a spot. So, but yeah, that is it for my video game pickups. That yeah, it was a lot of shit, man. A lot of games, um, and then stuff from the other the the other videos. I've I picked up a lot of stuff. I've gotten a a, 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 a lot of stuff. A lot of it was gifts, uh, from my roommate and from my girlfriend, and a lot of it was shit that I bought that it was just a great deal. So I had to I had to fucking get it. But anyways. Like I said in my last video, 
my next video, I think I'm finally going to break down and do the fucking room tour. Um, it's been long overdue. And, I mean, I picked up some new shelving new units. So, things are better organized. I have more space for stuff. Um, which means I can actually put stuff out, you know? Because I don't have video games and shit taking up extra shelf space on the walls. I can actually put out some, some more of my collectibles. So, but yeah, that will be my next video, I, I think. Um, hopefully I can get it done in the next week, but I have to work, you know? Gotta make that money that pays that bills and buy my crack. Um, but, uh, yeah. So anyways, thank you, thank you guys for, for, for watching once again. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up and maybe comment if you want. So... But until next time, have an awesome night, day, whatever. Whenever this gets uploaded and you watch it, I guess. So, bye.